How you doing everybody? Randy Richard here in the shop. Well my last week I tried to put a video up and I recorded some video and I ended up losing it. I don't know what happened but we're trying again here this weekend. Actually this is Thursday. Uh, we had some bad weather so we couldn't work. Uh, we got over six inches of rain. The rain gauge only goes up that far and is overflowing this morning so we had a pile of rain uh, last night and, and yesterday which is pretty cool. And then it snowed here just a little bit ago so we're uh, I don't mean to talk about the weather but the weather here that's a good thing and I didn't have to well I worked a little bit today but uh, just all kind of home stuff uh, but that's okay. Anyway I got some stuff done in the shop and uh, I got the uh, stair mitt mic finished up and uh, works really well. So I'll show, show you a few little details what I did uh, to that to finish it up. And uh, we're still working on this thing. This thing's hard. But we'll uh, try to get that done up here pretty quick. Other than that, I uh, put some new lights on in the shop. That's why I kind of showed you last, uh, I went, meant to show you last week. Uh, I picked up some uh, LED lighting for the shop. Uh, some of my eight-foot fluorescents died, so I picked up those and uh, got a couple of them mounted, and they are pretty nice. Uh, I'm gonna. I have four more to put up, and uh, we'll hopefully get some better lighting here in the shop. Other than that, uh, not much going on. Uh, other than wanting to be in the shop, so maybe uh, some more this weekend on Sunday. I'll get some more shop time. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for sticking with stick with the channel here. We will get more uh, projects going. Um, this weekend, I hope to start on a Hemingway project. So that's the plan. Trying to stick with the plan. Anyway, Merry Christmas to everybody. Also, uh, and uh, watch a lot of videos. Watch everybody's videos. I got Chuck's shirt on today. There we go, Chuck. <laughs> Support Chuck's channel. Chuck's a good guy. Uh, anyway. Yeah, <laughs> don't know what else to tell you, but uh, we'll get some more stuff going hopefully. Talk to you guys later. Thanks. This is our mic. The uh, star mitt. What I need to do is we need to put a 4 millimeter by 0.5 thread pitch through our bushing and through the barrel, the holding barrel of the micrometer itself. I've already made some witness marks where I want this lined up, so it's, it's very, very close to being accurate. And we're going to take the, the internals of it out, right? We'll remove this. We're going to line up our witness marks. Our bushing's in there fairly snug. We're going to line this up. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to line our pointer up with a mark. We're going to drill 20, number 29 hole and thread it all the way through the stainless barrel and the bushing. This will be for the lock. This is already a lock, but I want to put the original back in so we don't have an empty hole here. And my vise is set at an angle. Uh, I've been making some dovetail cutters. And uh, that's why it's still set up this way. So, but in this case, it doesn't matter. We have it set on some parallels, and we're just drilling a hole. A small spotting drill. And number 29. Oh, 
inside this thing. Well, we got this uh, threaded in there. And this little uh, threaded on the outside, threaded on the inside, little knurl on there. That's the part that goes in. I'm going to use a just a very small drop of uh, retaining compound Loctite. Just we're just barely going to use anything. There we go. Just hardly anything on there. Here we can screw this in. That goes in easy. We'll just let that sit for a few minutes. We just fine. I'm going to slip the anvil in and our screws in there. This seems to be solid. Well, we'll need to put this uh, wavy spring washer in. Then this little piece goes in. I got it straight. There we go. In the lock handle. Lock, unlock, lock, unlock. We could probably make it right there. Lock, unlock. There we go. Looks good. Orientation. And the little screw goes in. Let's hold the handle on. So that's locked. Yep. Unlock. Nice and free. So it's all together and we are a couple thousandths off. I don't know why I'm two. Was it before? It was only one, but now I'm two, but that's okay. Two thousandths off. Then we're going to adjust the barrel. Be able to turn this. Read zero. Now we can use a gauge block on it. Let's start off with a 125 gauge block in there. I'm one thousandth off. Why is it one thousandth off? Let's see. We'll go back to the anvil. And we're zero. 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 Half a thousandth off with the or just too light. The half thousandth off with the clutch. Go to 0.5. Now my blocks are really cold right now. They should be actually small. Almost exactly zero. Just a couple tenths 
uh, off there. Yeah, just a little bit more and it's, it's on. Let's try the flat anvil in there. Take that out. Now with a flat end, it'll all be just like a regular mic. Go back to the point five block. And I'm a half over now. Half, even a half over. Go back to the 125 one. Half over. Well, I'll have to uh, determine if I'm going to, like, what am I going to gauge it with, right? Let's go to zero. Half over. Well, I'll have to determine what I'm going to gauge this with uh, for uh, calibration. The flat one, or the round one but anyway this uh, this actually came out really well and it works very very nice and the clutch arrangement from the this clutch is from the Mitotoyo one that we removed from here and modified to fit this and everything else seems to in the bushing now the bushing is uh, Locked tight it in, and this barrel part is locked tight into that, so it can't move, but makes it very solid. But, you know, it came out, came out great. The new uh, stair mic, or mid star, maybe it's a mid star. Hard to say. We'll have to. Uh, figure out what to engrave in there or we'll make a little label for it so making sure this this sole plate is seated each time you change that is very important I don't want to really glue that in I guess I could but um, having it in there so that now when you put in the anvil it it reads zero if you can see that and if you change it it will read zero also so uh, the sole plate just uh, wasn't quite adjusted right there or in there tight and flat anyway I'm very happy with this thanks for watching you guys